mystery of stuff. Being a teacher requires not just knowledge, but also calling and a lot of patience and understanding. Shaping the minds of the young is a tough job, so teachers not only have to be very responsible adults, but also role models. Basic education is what makes young ones become well-rounded adults. Around the world, the right to get an education is actually a legal requirement. And at the base of the entire educational system, teachers are the most important people. But are all teachers the same? When it comes to what students do or say, teachers have different ways of reacting. Some are better at hiding their amazement. And some are not really prepared or experienced to hear what their students have to say. When the teacher learned her student didn't write his assignment over the weekend, she made him explain why. She had no idea his response would sound like that, so she reached out to his parents. As she read her student's note, the teacher just didn't know what should be the appropriate reaction. So instead of writing a reply on the note, she figured it would be best that his parents read it and suggest a solution to the problem. For a harmonious place at school, both teachers and students must follow a code of conduct. If everyone did or said whatever they wished, we're sure school would be complete chaos. If a student crosses the line, parents get notified, and if a teacher does the same, then things are different because as an adult and as a professional, misbehaving is out of the question. With that in mind, the teacher knew that her decision of grounding the students not following the rules may be frowned upon. However, she took it upon herself to notify the parents of their child's behavior. What we didn't expect was to read the whole note on Twitter. Let's face it, kids have strong personalities, and sometimes their honesty is a bit brutal. But when it comes to homework, everyone can agree that it's not an enjoyable task. Although homework is helpful when it comes to learning certain things you learned in class, one 14-year-old student had a different opinion. As an adult, Hearing a kid whining about homework can make you smile, thinking, wait until you get a job. But as a teacher, you get a bit bored hearing it over and over again. So when the teacher read the student's note, she had to send the parent a message. When 14-year-old Edward Cortez went to school that day without his assignment, his teacher had to act. What she didn't know was that her email would go viral. Wait until you see what he thought about doing homework. Since Edward didn't do his homework, his teacher asked him to write the reason why he didn't write it in the weekend. After finding the reason for not doing his homework, the teacher just had to let his parents know about it. Similar to when you're called to have a talk at school with the teacher, you can imagine that Edward's parents were concerned about the email when it popped up in their mailbox. The attachment was a photo of their kid's note. This couldn't be good, they thought. Thinking whether they'd have to ground their teenage boy for something inappropriate, the parents opened the attachment and began reading the letter. I didn't do my homework because I don't want to do schoolwork over the weekend, started the letter. Then the shocked parents kept reading. Let's face it, you can't tell your teacher you didn't do your homework because you didn't want to do it over the weekend. But Edward was pretty honest and his parents just had to send the note to the family. That's how Aunt Lydia ended up sharing the whole thing on Twitter and it went viral. So my cousin and his wife got an email from their son's teacher, wrote Lydia on Twitter. She explained that he didn't do his homework, so she asked him to write a paper saying why he didn't do his homework, and this is what she got. Apparently, doing homework over the weekend was a big deal for Edward, who felt that those free days were a stress-free time to go out with friends, watch TV, and play games. But that wasn't the only reason why he didn't do it. When you hear his reasons, he'll be in stitches. I didn't do it also because it makes me very mad and unhappy. I do what makes me happy, added Edward in his note. Plus, my mom has been finding some gray hairs, not trying to stress out, he said. But his note was just beginning. Then Edward explains that the real world jobs don't give you homework. He then stresses out why homework is not relevant. Unless you're a boss or a teacher, homework is not a real thing in the real world, claims the teenager. So what's the verdict? We should not have to do it in school because it's not useful. Case closed, concluded Edward. But not before he wrote one more sentence that had us all in tears. 
We can only imagine the reaction the teacher and his parents had when they read the whole note. The court rules in favor of Edward Emmanuel Cortez in the case of student versus homework, concluded the student. As soon as Aunt Lydia uploaded the handwritten note, people on Twitter had to write their own peace of mind. The letter written by Edward quickly racked up over 331,000 likes, more than 100,000 retweets, and 2,500 replies. She had to email the parents for backup. He made valid points, and she didn't know how to come back, replied someone on Twitter. I started crying real tears laughing so hard, said someone, and we bet that neither of the parents knew how to react to the note either. If I was the teacher, I wouldn't even know what to say. If that was my son, I wouldn't know what to say. The kid ain't wrong. People said that this teen is about to grow up and be a lawyer, and Aunt Lydia replied he'd probably be a lawyer with zero homework. Someone else added, the kid is going to do big things in life, and Lydia complained, why couldn't I be this smart that young? Even Edward's dad commented on the post. Damn, it just keeps blowing up fast, wrote Edward's dad, Alfred Cortez. However, some people didn't agree with the student. If I were his parents, he'd be grounded until he graduates high school, wrote someone. And Alfred replied, I'm his dad and I know he's glad you're not his parent. I gave the kid a high five. His teacher asked for an explanation, not an apology, wrote Alfred. Some people said the teacher should have a sit down with Edward and talk about how to make homework lighter and enjoyable. But one teacher had a better idea. I am a teacher and I 100% agree with this child. Stop assigning weekend homework. Limit homework during the week, wrote a Twitter user. Teachers and these ridiculous workloads are causing kids to hate school and reject learning, she explained. We can all agree Edward made some valid points with his note. He does what makes him happy. He should be a life coach. Well, it seems the case is closed. We have a teacher agreeing with Edward, so the court does indeed rule in favor of Edward Emmanuel Cortez in the case of student versus homework. Did you enjoy today's story? Let us know what you think about it in the comments. If you believe this story was amazing, don't hesitate to share it with your buddies. Hit the subscribe button and activate the notification bell so you'll never miss your daily dose of incredible stories.